Hey everyone, before the video starts, I want to make a quick reminder. Please leave your feedback down below. I do not have that much data on this update uh, as I'm not having as many problems as other content creators that I hear like Zolotech or Brandon Butch or other content creators are having problems. So let me know what if you're testing the beta, let me know how it's running and I will make a V2 to Sweet. this follow up. Anyways, on with the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry I'm recording this on a Sunday. I said that I would have a follow-up to iOS 14.5 Beta 3. Uh, besides a few bugs... Um... Hold on, let me... Let me... Straighten. Control Center. Sound recognition. Button. No. Low power mode. Switch button. Power mode. Alright, so... Besides, um... The... FaceTime. Sign-in to Settings. Apple ID. Settings. This Control Center. Right here. Every time I reboot all my Apple devices from the iPhone 7 to the iPad Mini 4, which is under my uh, my left arm that's holding this iPhone, to the iPad Pro, I am getting this pop up. Otherwise, everything else for me, battery life, airplane mode, switch button off, battery life, and everything else has been running pretty good over here. And right now it is, I'm adjusting the brightness over here. We're about, we're at about 45. Let me get it. No. 42% battery power. 42% battery and it's now um, just after three here uh, on Sunday. I have now started a new charging routine where if I, where I unplug the phone and only try to go through one charge cycle per day. And so far, it's doing good. I'll be back with some battery results because I have a few screenshots. So this was on, um, oh, what day was this? This was on Friday. Yeah, I believe it was Friday because this is when I was in the, I posted this in the Telegram chat. You could see the battery percentage and then up at the top, I was at like 80% battery after like 10 hours. So yeah, that was, that was actually a really great battery. And then, of course, my battery health, if you're curious, at 92%. And then I will be having a video coming out explaining how you can see these charge cycles. I am now sitting at, as of the recording of this video, now 248 charge cycles on this 11. And then here's the iPad Pro um, battery life on the iPad. And you can see what devices we're using that much battery. And so, therefore, um, now if we go into settings here and I'll go down to battery. I'm turning on voiceover for Settings. my visually impaired audience. Notifications button. I'm trying to get this, you know, my studio. I'm going to work on the studio setup. It's going to be a little bit better down the road. Sounds and do not so. screen general button controls display at home screen button accessibility wallpaper Siri, fake dimmer, exposure battery button. There we go. Low power mode off. So I had to turn low power mode off for this video, but low power mode is on by an automation. And you can see the uh, chart here. I had the iPhone off last night, uh, partly because I'm preserving this battery, trying to make it last longer. But also, um, I just didn't need the iPhone last night, so I turned it off. And I used the um, iPhone 7 as my media consumption device. Let me get the notifications out of the way. Um, right here. I use this iPhone 7 for media, FaceTime, you name it. Settings, settings, one new It's really laggy. And see, Airplane I get... Mode. Switch button. See? Update Apple ID settings button. See the pop-ups right there for the Rose update Apple ID settings. Emergency, ba privacy, battery button. Battery percentage, dimmed on. Wait for it. Sun glare. Battery health. So as I was saying, let me make sure that voiceover I got an iMessage notification. So I turn voiceover off. This is the iPhone 7 here. It, it is my media consumption device. Last 24 hours. Shush. So this is my media consumption device. I use this for FaceTime or iMessage or other stuff. You know, as long as I don't need the iPhone 11 for cellular needs, I just use this iPhone around the house. Along with this iPad Mini 4 over here, which... It actually got like seven days almost of battery life. Um, that thing's kind of irrelevant because I hardly ever use it. The Pro is, well, sort of relevant but irrelevant at the same time because 
I got 36 hours out of both the iPhone and the iPad on my first battery test of just typical normal usage, not hardcore YouTube or just, you know, migrating between the two devices and using it. Watch OS 7.3. Um, it's doing good. I got really good battery life for that. So, yeah. Um, here we go. Auto brightness button. Auto bright battery health button. Selected. Last 24 hours. Last charge to 100%. Set 17. I'm going to adjust this brightness. There we go. That, that. I'm sorry. It was all blurred out. Stop. I'm trying to autofocus. Lord. I, I'm going to fix this. So. No. Oh, Jesus. This thing's trying to fall over. Last charge to 100%. Set 17. So you can see Saturday at 5 p.m. This was last charged. And I'm at 41%, so this is not so this is not that bad. And I'm getting about, um, if we go down to here, you can see my screen time of screen on and screen off is a little lopsided. Let me know down in the comment section if you are around or it. Remember when iOS used to, where you go down to the very bottom and it'll tell you your standby time? I missed that. That was more accurate. I feel like that was. Activity, 62% battery used. March 6th, selected. 62% battery used. March 6th. So March 6th, this is when I did the whole um, uh, unplugged for at like 20 minutes after the beginning of the day at midnight. And that that's, that's the best battery I got on 14.5 beta 3. So... Everything else that I hear other content creators saying about FaceTime. random screen recordings, Bluetooth issues, all the other stuff, I personally have not been having them, but I'm not going to sit here and dismiss it and say it's not happening. It, it They're making it up. No, I'm not going to sit there and dismiss that. The only thing that I am having is the settings pop up, but battery life and everything else from my perspective is doing good, but I'd appreciate some feedback in the comment section down below, and I'll be making a follow-up video and um ios 14.5 beta 4 should be out either monday monday through wednesday of this week we should be going to a weekly cycle and i heard that watch os 7.4 will be out at the early beginning of spring so anywhere after the 21st of march ios 14.5 should be dropping along with watch os 7.4 so like i said this video did not have really no plan, um, just a random feedback. I really don't have nothing to complain about for 14.5. Um, Stability-wise for me, it's been running good on iPhone 7, iPhone 11, iPad mini 4, and the iPad Pro. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in another video. Peace.